I'm asked on a regular basis if you should play cash games or tournaments. And in this video, we are going to discuss that topic to make sure you are playing the game that is right for you. First things first, if you are not already a good, strong, world-class poker player, I definitely recommend you specialize because all of your opponents are going to be highly focused on the exact form of poker that they are playing. You have to realize that tournaments and cash games are different. You cannot study tournaments and expect to be a cash game crusher, and you cannot study cash games and expect to be a tournament crusher. And if you do not have a ton of time to devote to studying poker, you should make a point to pick one or the other. So now that you've decided you're going to pick either cash games or tournaments, you have to ask, what do you actually want out of poker? Some players want to get a lot of fame. They want to be on TV. Well, if that's the case, tournaments are definitely right for you because it's really hard to get famous and uh, be on TV by playing cash games. Other players want a relatively consistent income. Cash games have the opportunity to provide a somewhat consistent income, whereas tournaments do not at all because in tournaments, you really only get a big payday when you take the top 1% of the field, whereas in cash games, you probably win 50 or 60 or 70% of the time. So you have to ask, are you cool with variance? Some people are, some people aren't. So you really need to sit down and figure out what do I want out of the game of poker? You also wanna ask, how much time do I have on a consistent basis to play poker? Tournaments are great if you can go and sit down and play a 12 hour session, but that does not work for most people, unless you just happen to have weekends off and nobody wants to spend time with you. So tournaments are actually kind of tough for most people because they don't have all that many full days to sit down and play. Cash games are especially good if you have a few hours to play because you can go to the casino for three or four or six hours, however long you want, and put in that amount of time. Or you can play online cash games for an hour each night and get a decent amount of practice in, but it's way more difficult to do that with tournaments. Some players choose cash games over tournaments because they like monotony to some extent. They want to study 100 big blind stack depths all the time and that is it. Other players like a little bit of variety and they want to study 10 big blind stack strategy and 20 big blind strategy and 50 big blind strategy and bubble strategy and final table strategy, which is what you have to do if you play tournaments. You're gonna find that a lot of the best cash game players are really, 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 really good at one specific thing and studying that thing really in depth. Whereas a lot of tournament players are better at studying a wider range of topics and being pretty good at them, but not the like absolute best at it because there's a lot of topics you have to study in tournaments compared to cash games. So you have to ask, are you cool studying the same thing on a very, 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 very regular basis? And if that's the case, cash games are probably for you. You also wanna ask, how big of a bankroll do I want to keep for poker? In cash games, like we said earlier, there's generally way less variance. Sure, you're gonna have big downswings, especially if you're playing in games where you have a small edge, but you typically need a much smaller bankroll to play cash games compared to tournaments. Because in tournaments, especially if you're playing tournaments with a very big field, a bunch of players in it, you're going to go on downswings because it's really hard to take first, second, or third place out of 10,000 players. But that's it. Really what all this boils down to is what do you want out of poker and are you willing to set up your life situation to make good use of that structure and those opportunities that you have. For most players starting to play poker, I would generally recommend cash games because if you're not already starting with a big bankroll, the natural swings of tournaments may bust you. Also, if you are not devoting your entire life to poker, which most people aren't because they have a family or they're going to school or they have a job, you cannot just sit down and play all day or play a three day long tournament, right? You only have a few hours a day to play and study and that usually lends itself towards cash games. But as you want to win more and more money from poker, that's where tournaments really start to excel because you get to play with generally weaker players for high stakes. And also you'll find that it's kind of difficult to find high stakes cash games against very soft players. So. Cash games are usually very good when you're starting out, and as you wanna play for bigger and bigger money, you often find that you have to move a little bit towards tournaments. But really, at the end of the day, do whatever you wanna do. Do what you enjoy and make sure you have fun with it, because if you do not have fun with it and you're not excited to play whatever game you are playing, you're going to probably do worse at it compared to if you really, really, really want to be doing it. So find something to love, 
and then do it. That's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section below if you play cash games or tournaments because uh, I'm curious about what you all enjoy. Good luck, have fun, click the like and subscribe buttons, click the notification bell, and I hope you find the game that is right for you.